you have all these ups and downs, it had to be tough. Yeah, it, it seems like that's kind of the theme on the, the league. If you're not getting a lot of minutes, just to stay ready. And uh, as young players, we kind of embrace that because you see how quickly um, things can happen. Like I said, I, w I wasn't even dressing um, inactive, and the Steve Blake goes down, I'm, I'm thrown into the fire. So. Uh, that right there, everybody has their little moments, you know, or Dev not being in rotation and Kobe goes out, you know, you would never expect it. Um, so we all had our uh, examples of, of reasons why to stay ready and we just kind of embrace it from there. And it's just something that you got to do because this is your career. You know, you are getting paid to stay ready, um, not to have any excuses, but be, be ready to perform out there on the court. Is staying mentally ready almost more than staying physically ready in that situation? Yeah, I think that's more of a challenge. Uh, because physically, everybody has it here. Um, you know, you wouldn't be here if you didn't. But mentally, uh, can can affect a person's performance. You know, on the court, if you're not mentally there, uh, because of you know disappointment, or I'm not playing. You know, that, that can negatively affect your game. So I, I I think mentally it's a challenge just to stay ready. Paris, how close are you and Galloway for this season? What does that do for your guys, and just in terms of your development, having someone? There, oh, it made it a lot easier. You know, it didn't, didn't feel like you were alone. You know, uh, and yeah. you weren't the only person going through the, uh, those those problems. Uh, although I might have, you know, experienced a little bit more by not by being inactive, but it was good to have somebody there. You know, be encouraging and like likewise for for him. I was always encouraging him whether he was playing or not. And just for us to go through that that whole phase together, uh, this whole rookie year was was awesome. How much more of the one-on-one -on -one shooting contests you guys had, like a million of them? He, he, he probably aged me on the one-on-one -on -one shooting contest. Uh, towards the end of the year, though, it got kind of close. But uh, in terms of just regular one-on-one, -on -one, I think I hold that, that title. <laughs> How much of an indication, I guess, if at all, were you given from Mike about an expanded role for next year or more opportunity next year? That it's basically you know, up to me just to come in and ready and to work on certain things um, that I need to work on to be able to step on that floor and, and that it's not impossible for me to get minutes next year in terms of you know we play two guards at times with, with Ramon and uh, Blake so uh, Blake's ability to play both positions um, definitely you know could help as long as I do what I got to do and come in ready I think it'll help you know not being considered a rookie no more. Um, you know, especially on a team like this, that that's uh, a lot of pressure. You know, to win. You know, it kind of throwing all the rookie out there might be a chance. So it, I think it would work in my favor. You know, having that one year of experience under my belt. Like I said, uh, you know, they said summer league would be really huge for me too. Give me a chance to show them, and also show everybody what I can really do. Um, so yeah, in terms of you know expanding the role, you know, it's not impossible for me to be able to contribute next year. Anderson Beta was his greatest mentor on the team. Who was yours? Kobe. Kobe was just, uh, like I said, I think, uh, you know, de developing our relationship, uh, you know, we talked about a lot of stuff uh, on and off the court. So um, I, I would say, but Meadow has been great all year, uh, a side that a lot of people don't get to see uh, just how great of a teammate he, he really is. You know, I, I'm not just saying that uh, he really cares and, and it seems like he's just so mature now over the year, over the years that, I don't know, he's just a really positive influence on the team. Um, although sometimes he'll, he'll bite his tongue just so, you know, the team will be able to flow um, at times, you know, in times of uh, altercations or anything, you know, little arguments. He always tries to keep everybody together. And it's, it's really team first out there. Even when he wasn't playing, you know, he still was, in the beginning of the season, he was encouraging young players. Like, he always tells us every game, stay ready, even though, it might be a long shot for us to get in the game, but he would always just say, stay ready. And, you know, that, that right there is encouraging just to have somebody that you know cared about you consistently throughout the season. And uh, so Meadow was great, you know, along with Kobe.